This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see my analyzing that data. Like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. We meant to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the Credit Suisse fiasco is now under investigation in Switzerland. The Swiss Parliament green lighted the investigation into the credit suisse crash and i believe it's going to open up a can of worms into all the fraud and corruption that probably went down in credit suisse having to be taken over by ubs it seems, and this is just my opinion, that every other country around the world actually does investigations when they see fraud and corruption in their banking industry and in their stock market. And they aggressively go after the bad actors. They put themselves in a position to punish the bad actors so the bad actors think twice before they do it again and they send a message to the potential bad actors so they know that if they engage in the same activity, there will be consequences. But in the United States of America, we don't have such safeguards. We don't have real investigations. Not when they are part of the elite, they're part of the 1%, and they are robbing retail investors and pension funds. In the United States of America, if they're robbing retail investors and pension funds, and they are part of the 1%, part of the elite, they will not go to jail, there will be no real fines, and there will be no deterrence or no type of punishment that would deter a potential new criminal from engaging in that activity. And that is a major problem with the banking and securities industry, securities industry in the United States today. There's no accountability and there is no consequences for engaging in criminal activity as long as the people you're robbing are retail investors and pension funds you can do whatever you want in the United States of America and nobody will blink an eye. And that is a major problem. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that the one percenters can get away with robbing retail investors and pension funds with no consequences in the United States of America? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.